Okay, so next opponent is against this Chinese named player, which is supposedly to be called Zuolin Yoli. So I'll just get started with this one. This is top 64 to top 32. So here, my opponent first bans the Yan here. I have three healers in this box, I think. Yeah, so I just get all my healers banned out and then and just take all these AoE units. Try to play the strategy of doing more AoE damage than I can heal. So I just take second pick Dilith here. Dilith can sort of dispel, but certainly not that good compared to some of the healers like Liana and Wyler. They have very good dispels here, but I also get Juggler here. And Juggler is very good against all of these AoE damage. Like, rather than using a healer to heal if they hit my juggler along with any of their AoEs, I don't really need to heal up that much. Right? If I just heal back up the juggler, then the juggler can heal back everyone else when he takes damage. So that's really the plan here. My opponents have some AoEs here, a Beast Shock, and two healers. There's a Rewind as well, so his AoE damage is pretty good. But I have Juggler here, two tanks. The d -Lit is my only support. Use K just to faction buff for d -Lit. And then a Claret. So, opponent moves forward. I just end the turn with Claret, also sort of moving forward just to take control of some parts of this map. Then my opponent just moves really far forward this rain and transforms. So at this point I can see that well I'm my backline here is pretty much entirely vulnerable. If my opponent wants to just jump in here like boom boom boom, uh, he can get a bunch of debuffs on my back line. So I want to separate my back line with my front line here. I want to retreat my other units kind of far back. So I use the transform here instead of faction buff. This sort of as a reinsurance, in case my opponent really wants to jump in, then at least Yusuke is ready. And then at the very last, push up the Landius, just so this Rian cannot reach anyone in the back, or AoEs. If they don't want to be hitting anyone with AoEs, they have to go through these two tanks first. And here my juggler is looking very threatening. If my juggler just jumps in this square right here, Game's pretty much over, so first opponent seals up that square and drops all of these AoEs. Process. You have seal, but it does not clock. So I end the turn here with Landius. Next, he goes in with the Lean 3C. Do some more debuffs onto my tanks, but it does not clock either. But here at Landius, I have 7 debuffs here with actually full health after the Juggler got caught up in those AoEs. So Juggler half debuff, 5 debuffs here, lost some health, that's alright. Next I'm setting up with the other actual faction buff. So here the Bozo gets acted again, but he still can only AoE my tanks here. 
But just our uh, reinsurance, I move the juggler out of the way. Now, also can only AoE either one of these tanks and not both. So juggler jumps far forward. When he does this, the backline is unprotected. So like if I can just separate this tank with his backline, then I can take care of all the units that are important here, which are just the Bozo and Reen. So the Claret flies in regardless of the water debuff, takes out Bozo and the Steelet comes in here, freezes again, moving 5 blocks, attacking with the Unicorns into Reen, takes out the Reen in one shot. So here, the game is pretty much over. I took out two of the most important units on my opponent's side. Here we needed the Bozo and the Reen. Perhaps clocking some skills there. Just to win. But because the juggler jumped forward, I was able to kill off some key units here for free. Here, my opponent doesn't want to give up, but very clear it's over here. Five against one. Alright, moving to game two, we have some changes here. So, I added in the fourth healer Tiaris just to. Avoid the first ban healers again. Also added in this Illustrial since it's her best map against any sort of, I guess, Bozo, maybe the Assassins. Illustrial could be good against them. My opponent here as well, removing some of these AoE units or more. Let's say single target here, but he goes for the first Ben Ares. So Lustrial, Mr. Knight, get taken out. All very good on this map. MK just very good with Landius. This is what I like to do against Juggler Castell to Landius Rachel. That way I have a gospel. And here I get the juggler tank again. And since I already have Rachel here with a gospel, for one turn when the juggler does jump in, the juggler can't really die to any of these units here. Because I can ignore all the debuffs for that one turn that Juggler jumps in. And just that one jump in is already pretty crucial. Because then my Juggler here and you know, put stuff into water and Beast Rock next turn. If you can't deal with that Beast Rock, I might be in trouble. So this is not one of the best maps for Luna, but it's alright on his team. If he uses the Luna 3C, it can boost the Juggler's mobility. But right now it's only boosting Juggler's mobility. So instead he have Wind Spiral and Skill here. Against Wyler though, as long as Wyler has this 3C up. The only time where you can attack into an opponent is when they have this Listel talent or Listel finger applied.
So I already used the Wyler 3C on turn 1. I just want to go in here and engage. Opponent very quickly, like this is second action, uses up the Liana action here. So Liana used act again on the Luna. But my entire team here is already under Wyler talent, so the Luna is not going to be doing much here. And using up this Liana means you're not going to be able to uh, heal up this Struggler anymore. So I can just jump in with Struggler, with Gospel, with Wilder Talent. So Struggler this turn is kind of invincible. And I can jump in here, break the opponent's Struggler's last rights, and go in for a very safe Claret attack. So the first hit almost kills the juggler. Now we're going to finish off with the second hit. And the claret here is still in juggler's guard range. So claret is mostly fine. Still vulnerable to the Mistel here, but Luna attacked first which didn't really accomplish anything. Now the Barret gets supplied with heal of wounding. So now if he punches the Juggler, that can actually kill the Claret. So here this Black Hole is pretty good because it does damage to the Claret and then it does additional damage thanks to the heal reversal. So Clara takes out Luna before Clara goes down, because I don't really need Clara anymore to win this game. The Struggler can one-shot anyone with Beast Shock, but I break the last rights of Blistel first, just to make this kill much more guaranteed. Then go in for this huge Beast Shock, and then Ram with his Landius against the Liana that was not up for health. Got the kill there as well. And now here again we're at a you know five versus one. So that's game two. And that's all for now.